Hey there, this video is sponsored by PCBWay. Let's make another battery. Right, today we're revisiting this very, very, very popular 4S lithium iron phosphate bus bar kit made out of a PCB. We designed this a while ago. It's very, very popular. People are buying it. They buy the board straight from PCB Way. They buy the board from our website. So they buy the battery put together like this already. Uh, this is like super easy to build. So that's why people just kind of love this, right? So as you can see here, uh, it's got all the traces. It's easy for you to just connect the BMS. You can solder like a little connector here. Sometimes we do that when we sell it. We sell it with this little green one so that you could just put in your little cables in there. But you can you can do a bunch of things to make it easier on you, right? Including putting a BMS right on top of this thing. I have I've designed a BMS to go on top here and I put the holes in there so you can mount it, uh, put kind of the outline in there so you could easily know exactly how it goes, right? So. Why are we revisiting this project? It's because a lot of you guys have asked us to do the uh, slim version. What we have called a long time ago slim version, which is the exact same battery pack like this for cells in series to make 12 volts, but in a slimmer version. And the reason for that is that sometimes that doesn't fit in your application wherever you're trying to put the battery, right? And so you need it slimmer. You can go longer but you can't go wider. And so now what we've done is done this PCB to put the cells, reconfigure them and put them like this, right? So we're gonna publish this project also so that you can order either this one or this one right here, if you need this thing right here. But it's not quite done because I haven't transferred the uh, BMS mount in here. So we're gonna do that right now. Let's go to the drawing app. All right, so right here we have uh, I've imported the BMS, the JK BMS, uh, and this is whatever version of this is like a small one enough that fits in this thing. That's why I've chosen it. But anyways, you can get this into a 4S all the way to 8S and up to like some one of these ones that does 22S. So it's like it's pretty universally compatible with any battery pack that you can do. Oh, yeah. And you can get it in like 100 amps or 200 amp uh, versions of this BMS, right? So. Now that I drew it uh, for another project and I just imported it in here, now we can place this anywhere here. And so the idea is to place it in a place that, well, doesn't interfere with anything else. Uh, and so here we go, the B minus is here. So that means you have to connect these two ports into this battery minus, right? So then that's why I reposition it this way. So when you if we put it right here for example then it would be look at that it would be on top of those there so then it would cable would go from there to the bms and then the positive will be exposed so you can get the thing and now your positive is going to be the p plus on the thing i think that's the best way to go about it i don't know I tried putting it over here, but then the cables would be longer and then you're covering them, the uh, positive. So, okay, so then once we do that, let's see, before we do that, let's this do, oh, we can't do that. Okay, never mind. We have to leave that. So if we put it there, we just have to make sure we come in here and see exactly where we're putting it because there's other holes in there that are that exist there for the for the board. You see that? So let's say we put it there. Okay, that's no big deal. Is that that center? That's not that center. That center would be somewhere around there, I think. Okay, so then you would just have to come back and take these holes out because it would get in the way of your other hole. See, you'd have a bigger hole and a smaller hole and just throw, it'll give you errors, I think, and they would tell you. So this is the same thing over here. We have this big hole here. We don't need it because we have this little one and these are for uh, M3. Is there no hole over there? I guess there is no hole up here. 
Oh, there isn't. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so we have that in there. Then the other thing you have to do now is sort of, uh, well, move this stuff around. This right here is to make it easy for people to just click on the instructions, I think. Can I move this? Oh, yeah, I can move this out of the way. I have a diagram here. This is in the way here also. Okay. I'll just put it right here. Um, I'll move this 12 volt stuff out of the way so that you can still see it with the BMS. And then these are where you choose which cells because these are, again, these are compatible with all these types of cells. So there should be a way that you easily choose. Like if you put an X right there and you now the next person will know that it's a 300, 280 or whatever it is, right? Okay, so that's that. Let's delete this because this is just causing trouble. It used to be to let you know where the cells were at on the bottom, it's like a guiding thing. Okay, this PCB way thing now is going to be covered. So let's move that over here. Then we just go like this. There we go. Okay, so then, um, what else? What else? So it's just this. Can we make this much smaller? I think you can. You just go to the width here. Let's do 20. And then let's do 20. Boom. So now it becomes a tiny thing. Look at that. I just flipped it over. Okay. So now we could put it here. It shouldn't be a problem there. Let's look at the 3D version of this. Here we go. And this is what the board is looking like right now. These lines are going to be that hole right there. Yeah, these two. Okay, so I'm gonna move these listings because that thing is gonna make them disappear. Oh, and here's a hole? Oh yeah, and I gotta delete these holes because these are gonna mess up with the thing. Okay, so there's a few more issues there. Let's look at the thing here. Where are those holes at? Let's see. So if you remove this, this, this. Okay, these holes don't have to be there. Oh, man. Okay, so then this is part of, of that one sketch, I guess. Okay, so we click here, delete that hole because we don't need it there delete this hole we don't need this hole either it's, that was just to locate okay so then if we turn these guys on then you can see how those this is supposed to be to mark Ugh. okay never mind let's see disappear that okay here we go so this is to mark here what this pad is on the on the uh, BMS, right? So we don't need it, but we kind of do need it. I'm gonna leave it right here. We're gonna put it right here. So then that should be out of the way, right? There we go. What else? Oh yeah, these right here are important. Are they important? Uh, maybe. In case they are important, let's just move them outside of this thing. This lets you know what pins are on that connector there. Just in case you don't... I mean, th these are printed in the BMS itself. Okay, so let's say we put them here. Okay, and then you turn on this thing. Okay, that should be fine. What else do we see? Oh, this temp thing over here. Sure. Let's 
move this, put it over here. Um, RS2, and then this two, what is this two from? C2. Oh, this is C2 from, yeah, the, the bus bar here. This is the C2 thing. Let's see the there. We'll turn those in there. Can you still see it? I guess if I put this right in the middle here, you can see it. Uh, we'll leave this one here. No big, no big deal. Okay, let's look at that. What that did. Okay, it looks a little busy, but uh, busy is okay if it helps you to get this done right um maybe this maybe can we put this outside here jk bms it seems like a little bit off to the side it's no big deal i guess but just in case let's put this right in the center here and then this yeah that's fine okay let's call this done uh we'll name this 1.6 there's been a few revisions to this that we've done but a lot of them are pre-publishing because we just needed to do stuff save as 1.6 there we go so now we just go upload it to PCB way and then we should be on our way. Okay, so here is the final slim board with the mounts for this. Now you can install, I haven't installed the uh, the little green connectors in here, sort of like we did here. And then this is a connector that you would put in there and then uh, connect the little bus bars into the thing or wires but it basically makes this battery pack all assemble into one unit. And so then you can have a slim version of the 12 volt 4S. Remember that this is a PCB way sponsored video. So you can go and buy this board, download the Gerver, and then you can order it anywhere on the internet, any of the PCB uh, shops on the internet, or you can uh, buy it directly from PCB way. Uh, and you will be supporting my channel by buying the there at PCB way. But if you don't have to, again, I make it this all available. It's open source. You can download this uh, file and then you can uh, figure out how to edit it. You can make it your own. So anyways, go to PCBWay.com and order your thing there or download the file and order it in your favorite PCB maker in China or in the US, wherever you may be at. Please support by going to the project there and leaving a comment if you did use this. Post pictures if you have uh, used this and it's useful to you and you're using it in your daily life. That way you inspire other people to DIY and use some of these uh, open source projects, all right? See you on the next video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you, bye.